So, uh, I'm working on the go-kart some more today, but this time I'm working on the body. So, I measured out and drew out this line. And I'm going to cut this half off, well, not half, but this part off, and this will work as a dash. So, after so after I cut it, I'll get back to you guys and I'll show you how it looks. So, I cut the front of the wheelbarrow off and uh, I'm gonna cut two inches off here. I marked it with a line. So that would go right like so. And then, I found this old Etzel grill off of my Etzel. And I'm gonna have this as the grill on the go-kart. So, I'm gonna cut that off real quick and then, you know, tack it on and then we'll go from there. So right here I am cleaning the body to weld on the dash and as you can see I'm sitting in the body and I do not recommend this because it's weak from cutting the front end off so now I have a little bit of a warp because of me sitting in it. Alright guys, well, so I built a little floor on uh, the go-kart here. I ended up running a bar here and a bar here and then getting flat metal and welding it on here and here. Then I drilled out two holes, one here and one here, that goes into that uh, metal tubing underneath. So then, just slap the body on, like, and then for bolts, I took the original bolt out of the uh, wheelbarrow, and just slide that. thing is they're squared off like so not bolted on and right now it's you know we gotta figure out other things for us to work on the shifter we're gonna have to widen the exhaust pipes. So I'm going to work on the shifter now. I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. My dad gave me the idea of using a bike chain as the shifter. So here I'm welding this metal pole on here so I could slide a metal sleeve over for pivot point for the shifter. Here I'm putting this metal sleeve onto the sprocket 
so it could be the pivot point for my shifter. So guys, I got the shifter on, as you can see, and I got a gas tank on, but our shifter goes right here onto a sprocket, which goes onto another sprocket, which goes onto a, another sprocket, which goes to these bars here that goes to the shifting. So when you push the shifter, the shifting mechanism moves. And then for the gas tank, I weld up this T kind of right here. And these aren't the belts I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use leather belts. But I have these belts here to hold it on. And uh, so I'll show you how the uh, shifting moves. Here we have it, the shifter works. Next we have to do is the uh, truck bed and we should be fine. So the wagon ended up being too thin and we had to ex widen it four inches. So here I'm cutting out the bottom and I'm going to cut it in half and use part of the piece I already cut off to expand it. So guys, I got the uh, go-kart body on, and uh, as you can see, I got the wagon right here, then the wheelbarrow here, and then this is actually the handle off the wagon, so that's a shifter. And, you know, I still got a little stuff to do, you know, but as of right now, the body's done, you know, so uh, next step is to paint it and do little odds and ends on it. So if you guys have any uh, paint color ideas, you know, feel free to let me know. And uh, yeah, so so far this is what I have. I actually had to cut out a chunk to widen it. So I have that there, then the wheelbarrow, then the handle of the wagon. So this is the whole look of the go kart. So next step is paint. So next video to come should be of the final touches like the very final touches like everything is done so leave a comment below on what you know paint color i should go with and uh i hope you guys enjoyed cruising down the lashman road thanks for watching and make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment below and this is my uncle dave i use the songs from his band so if you'd like to check them out, you can go to the link below. And thanks for watching again, and hope you enjoyed your cruise down the Lashman Road.